In this video we're making a simple adjustable bracelet with beaded detail in the centre. This design has two sliding knots, one on each side, so you can adjust the size of your bracelet. Our little bead in the centre is secured there with a barrel knot on each side to hold it in place. We're going to use one of these little blue seed beads today, but you could use whatever type of bead you like, as long as it's got a hole big enough for your thread. For our design today, we're using 55 centimetres of one millimetre satin nylon cord. And our little seed bead today is a four millimetre seed bead with a hole that's just big enough to fit over our one millimetre cord. So to start with, we just place our bead onto our thread and then we want to find the middle. So I just pop the ends together, follow it back down to the other end. Then you want to hold this bead here in the middle of your thread and then holding it in our left hand with our finger poking out past the bead a little bit. Then we bring this right side of the cord around our finger three full loops. So that's the third one there. And then we can gently bring these three loops off our finger. Then we take this end piece and bend it around to poke it down all three of those loops. Then we gently work all these threads down nice and tight, gently pulling in each direction. And then you should have a nice tidy tight barrel knot that holds your bead in place on one side. So just sliding that bead up against your knot and then we can swap onto the opposite side and do the same thing. So just holding it in your left hand with your finger out a little bit. Bringing this right hand cord around your finger three full loops and then gently remove the loops off your finger and poke your tail down all three of those loops. Now just gently work those loops down nice and tight to form a nice tight barrel knot. And you want it sitting right up against that bead there, so just working to pull it that way so it holds that bead nice and secure. Now you want to check and make sure your bead is right in the center of your cord. So just holding on to that beaded detail in the middle there, just pull your tails out nice and tight and cut that longer length off so that you've got a nice even length on each side. And I just singe the end a little bit so it doesn't fray. Now we can move on to our sliding knots. Now I lay our cord down on the table with the cords overlapping and this left cord coming over the top. Then I pick it up in my left hand and I'm just holding it with this left cord coming at the back. So just make sure you've got a little bit of length on this cord and then we're gonna bring it over the front, down and out the back. So that creates one little loop there. So just holding that gently and we're going to bring this thread around again to the left, over the front, down and out the back for a second loop. And then again for a third loop, over the front, down and out the back. Now we've got our three little loops here and our tail piece. So we're just going to gently bend this tail piece around and poke it down all three of our little loops there, pulling the end out the back. And then we can pull all the cords nice and tight, gently working that knot down so it's nice and tidy. And then you should have your first little sliding knot. Now we can swap our bracelet onto the opposite side and holding it with this left hand cord at the back, making sure you've got a bit of length on it and then bringing it over the front, down and out the back for that first loop. And then again, over the front, down and out the back for a second loop and then again for a third loop. Then we've got our little tail end here, so we just gently bend that around and poke it down all three of those loops, pulling that tail out the end and then working your knot down so it's nice and tight and tidy. So you should have two nice tidy little sliding knots. They should slide along the other thread and we wanna just check and make sure that your knots are sitting evenly. And then we can cut these little tails off. So I've just checked that they're sliding okay and that those knots are even on both sides. If they're not, you can loosen those knots a little bit and slide them along a little bit more. But if you're happy with them, then we can go ahead and cut these little tails off. 
make sure your knots are nice and tight and then I just cut the tails off leaving about a half a centimeter or so just enough that they're not going to slip inside the knot then we can singe the ends so they don't fray and there's your simple adjustable bracelet with beaded detail